Welcome to the tutorial creating ghost drawings. So your cutout character should now look something like this. We're just going to ignore the thick black lines around the elbow and knee joints. I'll show you how to clean them up in one of the rigging tutorials. So once you've finished cleaning up your cartoon rabbit, it's time to create the ghost drawings. And what ghost drawings are, if we take a look at our timeline here, are empty drawings that we'd like to use to fill in this empty part of the column. So if you've done five views instead of three views, this might look even more ragged. You might have five drawings in one row, um, two in the another, one in another. And what we're really aiming to do is make the last column um, completely flush. And the reason we like to do this is twofold. Firstly, if we go into the library, um, when you create a, a template out of your character, which you'll eventually do, you'll have the option in the library to substitute certain drawings uh, using the slider here. So for example, the software is already recognizing that the, th the forearm has three views, the first, the second, and the third. And what I just did actually was swap the drawing in this cell. Um, or you can do this and you can acknowledge the three drawings. But what happens when you go to a space like this where there is no drawing? Well, the thing is you need an empty drawing here because otherwise when you get to this stage of the profile view, what are you going to substitute in for the eyebrow on the rabbit's right side, so for the O1 eyebrow? You actually don't want anything there, but you don't want the system filling this in with an extra exposure. So what we have to do is create an empty drawing. And you can do this by selecting your empty drawing, then by going to the drawing menu at the top and selecting the menu item create empty drawing. And as you can see now in the drawing substitution window in the library, the software acknowledges that there's in fact a third drawing for the Karate Rabbit 01 eyebrow layer, but that there's absolutely nothing in this window there's actually no drawing unlike drawing one and two. And you just have to continue doing this for all your other empty cells. Now if we take a look at our timeline we can see that yes in fact um, the entire last column is flush just the way we would like it. And that's it for the tutorial creating ghost drawings. Stay tuned for the next tutorial creating extra drawings.